Greetings everyone and welcome to this video on input options for linear mixed models in JAS. Building on the previous video, we can now proceed to look at various input options available to us. The dependent variables box is for the response variable of interest. The fixed effects box are where variables of primary scientific interest can be added. The random effects grouping factors is where categorical variables specifying clusters of observations can be added. These are typically variables such as participants or items one wants to generalize over. Factors with very few levels, that is less than typically five or six levels, should not be used as random effects grouping factors. The number of levels of the random effects grouping factors determines the power of the test of fixed effects. In the model drop-down option, the fixed effects and interactions can be specified or removed if needed. To specify an interaction term, the terms which one wants to interact can be selected and added to the fixed effects box. The options drop down menu provides us with options to get the model summary and the fixed effects estimates. The plots menu provides us with options to get customizable plots with uh, distinguishing features such as color, shape or line type uh, over the factor levels. We can also customize the plot, the theme which we want, the legend position and so on. Here we can see that as the dose increases, theophylline concentration levels in the blood at any given time point are higher. In the estimated marginal means drop down menu, we can select the factor whose levels uh, we want to estimate the marginal means over. We can adjust p values for multiple comparisons according to the adjustment we want. And we can also specify contrasts. So in JASP, to specify contrasts, we need to select the add contrast uh, option. And if we want a contrast to be a difference between two levels, the level with the higher level, we need uh, to put positive one and the lower level, we need to put, uh, we need to specify as negative one. So in this case, contrast one is uh, the specification for estimated marginal means, difference in estimated marginal means of theophylline concentrations uh, in the people who have been given four to five milligrams of theophylline minus theophylline the estimated marginal means uh, mean of the theophylline concentration in people who are given three to four milligrams of theophylline. In the estimated trends or conditional slopes drop down option, we can select a trend variable. In this case, it's time. We can select a factor. And similar to the estimated marginal means or least squares means drop down menu right here, or we can select, we can add specify contrasts in a similar fashion. And of course, we can specify the p value adjustment. These uh, Trends are basically the slopes over various of various factors or various factor levels and contrasts are the difference in slopes. So comparison between all of these slopes. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.